Genre. Expository text. Compare texts. Read to find out about how people are standing up to bullying. Speaking out to stop bullying. Raising the issue. One of the toughest issues facing students today is bullying. Bullying occurs when a person uses aggressive behavior to hurt others on purpose. Acts of bullying often happen over and over. The victim usually feels powerless. A bully's power may stem from being older, bigger, or stronger. Bullies may also seem to have more friends or resources than the person they target. Bullying comes in many forms. Calling someone names or teasing them can be a form of bullying. Other forms include spreading stories that aren't true about a person. Some bullies hurt people by ignoring them or leaving them out. They may also hurt their victims by shoving, hitting, or kicking. Bullying can take place anywhere, even in cyberspace. Victims may be targeted online. In emails or over cell phones, victims of bullying often feel powerless or are unable to do anything about their problem. How can students stop bullying from becoming a problem? The most important thing students can do is to tell a trusted adult when they are bullied. The same strategy applies if they see someone else being bullied. Power can also be taken away from bullies by ignoring them, agreeing with them, or using humor. Participating in anti-bullying programs may help resolve bullying issues. Communities take a stand. New Hampshire passed a law to stop bullies. The law states that all school staff must be trained to know what bullying looks like. People learn to spot the signs of bullying. The law tells people who see bullying to report it. The state hopes that the law will create bully-free schools. In Midland, Texas, the police take their message to the schools. Police officers make sure to tell students that bullying can be a crime. They want bullies to know that they are accountable. For what they do, this means that bullies will be punished if they are caught. The officers tell students who have been bullied or who have seen bullying to report it right away. They make it clear that people have choices. They tell students that anyone can choose to stop being a bully. Students should report any signs of bullying to an adult they trust. Young people speak out. Julia Corden from Phoenix, Arizona, has a message for students. When she was 13, she started a group called the Bullying Ends Now. Julia wants all schools to be safe and fun. She travels all over the state talking to young people. She tells them how hurtful words can lower a person's self-esteem. Julia asks students to share their stories online. She wants people to stand up for others. Actress Lauren Potter has a message for lawmakers. She has been speaking out about the bullying of special needs students. Lauren was born with Down syndrome. Because she did not look like her classmates, she was teased and called names as a child. She wants laws that will keep people safe from bullies. Learning to speak up. It is important for people everywhere to recognize and stand up to all forms of bullying. Everyone has a right to feel safe and to be treated with respect. Likewise, each person has a responsibility to treat others with respect. Report anything that may get in the way of maintaining a safe environment. Let make connections. How are people standing up to bullying? 
In what ways do actions make a difference? Make connections. How are people standing up to bullying? In what ways do actions make a difference?